Welcome back to Bonanza Disc Golf. Today, we are the back nine of 65th Infantry course, trying to see if we can shoot four down through nine with a beginner's set of discs. Now, the reason for four down is if you haven't watched yesterday's video, we're playing a new kit in the bag. I just dropped all of them. Where we take a lineup of discs from an underrepresented or an unknown company and try to shoot a hot round with them. In this case, five down would be one better than our first new kit in the bag, which we ever did here, which is from Gateway Discs. It also would put us in the top 100 all time for U-Disc from the longs at this course. We have six discs here from Divergent Discs. We had seven to start the challenge, but uh, go watch the front nine maybe for that. If we can't shoot our five down overall, which is four down in this back nine, then we're gonna have to give one of these guys away. If I can't get one more birdie and get the two down, we have to give two of them away. And I'm also throwing in the Clash Wild Honey, the Berry, the RPM Kotuku and RPM Piwaka Waka from other new kids in the bags that I maybe didn't win, unfortunately. But here we are, hole number 10. It is a great hole to start this on, or so I thought as well during the gateway video, and then you might've seen what happened there. But we're gonna go crack, and it only feels like a nine speed. I haven't looked up the numbers on any of these guys, but it's been flying pretty decent for me. It's only like 500 feet for a par four, so super simple. Yeah, that's solid. No crazy distance, but exactly what I wanted it to do. I mean, Divergent, the, the main crux of the last video is they're a company that say that they're not made for professionals, they're for your casual player. And I think in general, I would agree with that, but that Kraken has like a nice dome, not a lot of stability, but it has enough fight back at the end that I don't think like it would make your bag as like a pro or something that like you would replace something else with. But if you got started with the Divergent set, and you like the Kraken, I think it's something that could evolve with you to be just a really good woods disc for a while or just hyzer flip or even like, I imagine I can lay down some pretty decent rollers with it too, because it'll take a little longer for it to stand up. Definitely a solid disc. So I think from here, we're gonna throw the Golem. The Golem, it is like got the same profile or similar profile to his zone, but it's got a little bit more of like an angle coming back in. It does not seem to have the same glide as the zone though. So it's a, it just wants to get to the ground. Get there all the way. Oh, that's all right. See, it just does not have a lot of glide at all. All right, this is like really not bad. Good birdie to start. Okay, we are back to two down. We're not back to, we got the two down. And I think for this one, we're gonna throw the caper, copre. The way that this thing comes out of your hand is so weird though, because it's, it's like rubbery. Max grip UV is the plastic. I wonder if it glows in the dark. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Oh, actually, this is what the UV is. This is actually really cool. Holy crap, I didn't realize this. It's like photon plastic from Discraft. Check it out, so this is what it looks like now. And then I put my hands over it, and now it has different coloration. That's so neat. I don't know if you can see that, but it's cool. Keep turning, whoa. Just drop, just drop, just drop, just drop, just drop into the water. That might be safe, but I thought, I mean, I was a little nose up for sure, but I would have bet money that that had some more under stability to it. All right, super grateful that water is further than I thought it was. Little golem chip maybe with the forehand. Try not to throw any forehands, which is why I didn't throw that on the drive. There's also nothing stable enough, but a little chip shots, not bad, maybe throw it in. Oh, a little deep, please sit. Far safe, it's still not bad, only three more. All right, our basket is dead ahead of us down this peninsula. It's only like 530 feet, par four. So it should be a get. Wind is pushing us off the lake as well, which is good, because I threw one into the lake in a practice shot last time. It's probably cracking again. It's like the only thing that's kind of stable besides the golem. Not really gonna come out of it, but it doesn't really need to. Down there, solid second shot, should be happy. All right, this shot definitely looks like a forehand, but it's a little bit outside of my comfortable forehand range. So it comes down to Alpis, or Caper, or Nuno. I like the Alpis, because it's just gonna sit down, but you gotta get it there. It's such a weird disc, because it's basically just one big bead. Like this is just fully round right here. It's a very weird feeling, it's a very shallow feeling. So it's not the most comfortable. I definitely think Nuno is slightly more comfortable. And with the wind coming this way, it is also more stable. So I think Nuno's probably the option. Just gotta actually throw it. Well, it's pretty stable, holy cow. 
That sucks. I really thought the wind would keep it a little more left or right. Better than that piece of trash shot. Thing just comes out so weird. All right, this is actually significantly better than I expected it to be. It's kind of perfectly distanced. Just missed. Uh, I actually threw it exactly as I wanted. I thought the wind would keep it straight, but it didn't. I was gonna say I threw it bad, but I think I threw it good. I just misjudged the stability and the wind. Let's go, good birdie. All right, looks like about 250 dead ahead of us. I think just throw the Nuno again. Pretty similar shot, except instead of aiming at the basket, just aim 20 feet to the right. And I think it's pretty perfect. This disc is all right. It's interesting. They all just have a bit of a pop top, which is kind of weird. Two nose up. So nose up. Sit down. Oof. That was very nose up. I really wanted to look at that after I threw it instead of going through the correct motion. Like that. <laughs> dang. Dang, dang, dang. Big headwind coming up the hill. Oh, thought that drilled it. Did not. Whew. This one's just around the other side of that tree. Man, this is where with this wind, you really want something more stable. I think we're gonna go cracking. But this guy is pretty neutral, so it's gonna have to be a lot of hyzer. Can't really trust it to get back left much because of how, it's just hard because it's gonna get beat down by the wind on hyzer, but it's also, if it flips, it's gonna get super right. We need to go super straight. So it's not gonna be the easiest shot in the world. Yeah, no, no! I thought it had an inkling of integrity to get back, but once it caught edge, it's never gonna happen. It happens when it's your like six time throwing a disc. Can't really learn it all the way. And that flip point versus turnover point are just two of the most finicky things about these type of discs, but we should have an up and down for a par, at least since we're playing the Rhodes' river because there's nothing on the T signs and I'm cheating. So unfortunately, it actually did go over the fence. I was able to snag it with my pole though, but I thought it was gonna get stopped by this stuff. So now this is for par. That sucks. That really sucks. All right, just about a meter. Got it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this stays interesting, baby. Let's go. All right, this one is past that tree that's down there. So it's kind of got to be a turnover. How far does it say it is? Either 260, turnover 262. Hardy wants to throw a Tionic, but we're actually trying to score. So I think we're going to go with the Caper, Capre, because it's less stable than the Nuno. Just hit them. Dang, a little too high in the air, but I think it's only about 30 feet. That's pretty solid. It's hard to learn this and around. If you ever do want to do that though, I would recommend it sometimes because it helps you really get good at shot shaping or better at it because you have to be like, okay, what's my good miss? Which disc do I have to choose to have the best miss? And try to throw the best shot and make sure that you're like not going OB. Like on that last hole where I did go OB, maybe it would have been better to throw a slower disc that wouldn't move as far to the right and even on some more hyzer and just like take an easy, no stress par because I'm probably not birdieing that with the discs that I have. And that's something that I didn't really take into account and I probably should have. All right, we got an inside the circle putt here. It's not bad at all. Flow. All right, we need to get two of these then. It's still doable, it's still definitely doable. All right, here we go, hole 16. It's 375 feet straight ahead of us. Should be gettable. There's a slight headwind. It'd be nice to have a little bit faster disc that was somewhat stable, but I think we can get there with the Kraken. I whipped that so far to the right. It's good distance. Terrible shot. Oh man, what's extra disappointing about this is we for sure had the distance because we were very far right and like 40 or 50 feet from being pin high. Probably just Gollum Spike Kaiser, yeah? Spike in? No, Spike Kaiser. Oh my gosh, that's so good, dude. All right, we need to get the last two. So easy. This guy's kind of been an upshot workhorse for me today, huh? Good kitty. All right, 
straight over this tree. We've got about 230 feet. We have a wind pushing us to the right, so I think Nuno is a little stable, so if I just expose the flight plate a baby bit, it should be solid and it should fight back. We do need this birdie and we need the next birdie. Yep, that's a birdie. <laughs> yeah, that's barked. Whew, one more hole. Not an easy shot from the longs. Maybe even has to be a forehand or a roller with the Tionic. But I need it. All right, hole 18. A lot comes down to this as to whether or not someone's about to win five discs. It says it's 300 feet right there. There's a forehand. There's a backhand up a really tight gap with a lot of trees lining the right into a headwind, which I'm not super fan of. So I think it's gonna have to be a roller with either the Tionic or the Kraken. It does have a headwind. If we put it down to the right of that trash can, ah, man, this is not gonna be easy. I think it's gonna have to be Kraken. Both are gonna be very flippy though. It's gonna have to be a perfect roller. Stay up, that, that'll have a shot. Once I hit that concrete, it just kind of flipped over. I kind of really liked how that was going down. We have a shot, there's definitely a putt. All right, bigger putts have been made on the channel before. Got it. Let's freaking go! Okay, now you can see what actually freaking happened. Whatever, I lost, okay, we get it, I stink. Oh! Oh, I thought I did it. This doesn't even matter. Didn't even matter. Four down, who cares? Who cares about four down? Apparently that's all I can get with these freaking discs. Gateway is four down, this is four down. I'm gonna cry. Well, now that you saw the truth, I really thought I made that first one too. It was so close. The whole saga of me tricking you guys will be over on Bedanza Bogies to check out. I'll link it over here. That means I shot four down again. So one of these discs is going to be going to you guys. I can already guess which one it's gonna be. It's the only one that I actually really like that much. Unless someone really wants the Golem. But just like what happened with the Hooligan Discs giveaway, we're gonna run the giveaway with responses to pinned comments. All the details of the giveaway will be in the description of this video. It is open only to US residents because shipping outside of the country is astronomical. And I'm very sorry about that. You will win all four of the previously mentioned discs as well as whatever divergent disc of your choice, except for the long one, because it's in someone's lawn. <gasps> Maybe it ha that's why I had to go there, because it's called, if you take away the eye, it's just a lawn disc. I figured it out. Re reply to the pinned comment to be answered. That's the only way, not just a general comment, but please comment if you want. Like the video, dislike the video if you hate me, and I will see you guys in the next one, or this video, which is the front nine. Okay, love you, bye.